Describe the use of the McCabe Thieler method. The McCabe Thieler method is a convenient method for the analysis of binary distillation. It is a graphical method that is used to determine the number of theoretical plates or equilibrium stages for a given binary distillation process. It is based on the assumptions of constant molar overflow which require that the molar heats of vaporization of the feed components are equal. A mole of vapor is condensed for every mole of liquid vaporized and heat effects such as heat of solution are negligible. What is the effect on the distillation column load if the reflux ratio is increased? The reflux ratio is the ratio between the amount of reflux that goes back into the distillation column and the amount of condensate that is collected as distillate. Higher the reflux ratio, the higher the vapor or liquid contact within the column resulting in a distillate of high purity. However, it does slow down the distillate collection rate. Define diffusivity. Fixed diffusion law states that the diffusive flux moves from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration proportional to the concentration gradient. The proportionality constant used in fixed law for molecular transfer is termed mass diffusivity. The SI unit of mass diffusivity is meter square per second. What are the units of molar flux? Molar flux is the rate at which unit moles move through a unit area per unit time. Its SI units are mole per meter square per second or gram per centimeter square per second. What is superficial velocity? In the case of multiphase flow, real fluid velocity often varies from one position to another. However, superficial velocity is a calculated flow velocity as if the fluid was only present in a given cross-sectional area. Superficial velocity is preferred in engineering practices since the value is readily known. It can be expressed as superficial velocity is equal to the volumetric flow rate to the cross-sectional area. For pure liquids, what is bubble point temperature and dew point temperature? For pure liquids, the bubble point and dew point temperature are the boiling point temperature and condensation point temperature respectively. These temperatures are the same for pure liquids. For example, the bubble point or boiling point temperature of the water is 100 degrees Celsius, and the dew point or condensation point temperature is 100 degrees Celsius as well. What are minimum boiling azotrope and maximum boiling azotrope? If the boiling point of an azotropic mixture is less than the boiling point of its constituents, it is termed a minimum boiling azotrope and if the boiling point of an azotropic mixture is higher than that of its constituents then it is termed a maximum boiling azotrope. What are the different types of distillation? Based on process requirements, one of the following types of distillation methods can be used, such as simple distillation, fractional distillation, steam distillation, vacuum distillation, etc. Write about Aspen Flare System Analyzer. Aspen Flare System Analyzer is a simulation software product from Aspen Tech to help accurately design flare systems and evaluate the flare system capacity as well as identify shortcomings. Since data can be easily imported from the other products that Aspen Tech provides like Aspen Plus and Aspen HYSYS, it makes designing even more convenient, faster, and with fewer mistakes. The software can carry out complete flare system design and debottlenecking analysis for both single and multi-phase flare systems. Provide differences between a partial condenser and a total condenser. In a total condenser, all of the vapor leaving the top of the column is condensed. A part of the condensate is sent back to the column as reflux and the other part is taken as a liquid distillate product. In a partial condenser, the vapor is only partially liquefied. The produced liquid can be sent back to the column as reflux or it could be split into two streams, one for reflux and the other as a liquid distillate product stream. The vapor that isn't condensed is taken as the vapor product stream. Provide differences between a partial reboiler and a total reboiler. In a total reboiler, all of the liquid leaving the bottom of the column is sent back to the column as vapor. In a partial reboiler, part of the liquid from the bottom of the column is taken as bottom's product while the rest is sent back to the column as vapor. What is meant by azotrope? 
An azeotrope or a constant boiling mixture is a mixture of two or more liquids that displays the same concentration in the liquid and vapor phase, it maintains its composition and boiling point during distillation. What are the advantages of distillation? The main advantage of distillation is that a product of high purity can be obtained, the process is well established and can be scaled up in an economically viable manner. What are the limitations of the distillation column? It can be an expensive process as it requires high operational and maintenance cost, it can increase operational hazards and can cause environmental pollution resulting in the greenhouse effect. Define vapor pressure and read vapor pressure. Vapor pressure is defined as the pressure exerted by a vapor in thermodynamic equilibrium with its condensed phase in a closed system at a given temperature. Read vapor pressure or RVP is a measure of the volatility of petroleum products defined as the absolute vapor pressure exerted by the vapor of the liquid and any dissolved gases at 37.8 degrees Celsius. Define sensible heat and latent heat. Sensible heat is the heat exchanged by a system that causes a change in the temperature of the system. Latent heat is the heat exchanged by a system during a phase change occurring within the system. What is the purpose of the flare header? The flare header is the line that connects pressure relief valves and blowdown valves to the flare knockout drum and from the knockout drum to the flare stack. The purpose of the flare header is to bring flammable gases from the process units to the flare. These can be continuous intermittent or emergency flows. What are flare system components? The various components present in a flare system are flare headers, knockout drum, flare stack, spark ignition device, and pilot flame tip. In this video series, the questions given in Chapter 17 from our handbook, Process Plant Design and Simulation Volume 1, will be answered. The handbook is a must-have for any process engineer with an interest in process simulation, providing you with the building blocks that would eventually have you simulating entire systems independently. Get yours today. The link is available in the description.